Hi everyone, this video is to illustrate and explain the user interface of Dragon Rider. And again, thank you so much for your supporting and I love all your comments. And special thanks to us for your amazing suggestions. And you are right. This video probably should be the first video to make for you guys to understand what kind of interface you are facing. I guess you'll probably be very confused when you open this game and see all kinds of characters and signs all over your screen but don't know what does it mean, don't know what will happen if you click in and afraid of messing all things up. If that bothers you or has already affected your user experience, then I hope this video could help. So basically I will introduce from left to right, top to bottom. And one thing I need to mention that not all signs are fixed. Some of them will variate according to game activities. I will point out when we encounter them. So let's begin. Okay, first let's focus in on this picture on the top left. This is the profile of your character. After we click in, you can see more details. Let's begin with all things listed on the left. This is your avatar and name. It will appear on your screen and people will see your picture when they talk to you or team up with you. So this is basically your name card. Then this is your rated score, your level and the number of your character. Take my character for instance. My rated score is 64,633. My level is 86 and my character number is 26056479916. Character number is just a series of number for your level and your rated score. In general, as you level up, your score will be higher. But say you and I are both at level 30, but your score could be much higher than mine because you have better equipments or you have better battle settings. Therefore, it is kind of hard to judge a character just based on its level. So scores could be a more reliable standard. The above mentioned information we cannot click in, so it's just a pure display of your basic information. Let's move on to the lower section. There are four buttons. From left to right, the first one is your avatar picture. The second one is gifts. The third one is buff. The fourth one is the names that we used to have. These four buttons we can click in. Let's first click in this little bunny, our avatar picture. We can see there is a bigger version of our current picture. On the top left is the name of the picture. For example, my picture's name is Rhythm Cutie. Besides it, it's the status of this picture, saying whether it's permanent or is still locked. Since I can use this picture, so it is of course permanent. Below that, it's a description of this picture. Mine is saying, come and feel, this is my rhythm, it's super great. Don't worry if you don't understand the name or the description because the picture has already speaks for itself. For example, the name and the description is all about rhythm and music. And in the picture, it's a girl listen to music. And there is a button to save if we make any changes. So here comes the question. How do we change our picture? Actually, it's very, very simple. You just look on the right side. Here are two layers. The first layer is headshot. The second one is frame. When you want to change, you just select the ones that you like and then save. However, one thing have to be mentioned is that not all of them are available. It really depends on your level and your game experience, or you know, you can get some rewards. Let's take one for example. Now I selected this one, but I cannot save. Why? 
because I don't have it yet. Now there are two questions. First one is how can we know that we have it or not? The second one is if I really want it, where can I get it? There are three differences between locked and unlocked. The first one is you can see this very obvious small lock sign. The second difference is the character that indicates locked and unlocked. The third one is this small gray button. I think the easiest way is to notice whether or not this small gray lock sign appears or not. Also, the whole arrangement of these pictures are from those are unlocked to those are. But what if we really want those that are locked? So how can we get them? Remember the third difference, the gray button. The gray button actually says forward. So that means if, if we click on the forward button, this little gray one, it will link us to the activity for which if we participate, we will get the photo unlock. Let's just click on this button. See, it links me to this activity they are currently holding. The activity variates from time to time. I will explain that later. So for now, let's just go back. This time, let's select one that is already available. For example, this square, this blue square one. So I selected it and then I click on the save button and now it's saved. So we go back to the game interface. You can see that your avatar has already changed. Same applies to the frame. We select the frame and again there are also locked and unlocked. I In this case I will just select one and save, but the frames will not appear on the avatar sign. Oh, another thing need to mention is that sometimes the avatar or the frame, they will have additional functions. For example, this mushroom rabbit frame will help me to add my physical attack by 36 and my magical attack by 36 also. You can tell if there are some added numbers if you change frame to frame or photo to photo. Therefore, you will know that it will increase your power. And also you can check if your number increases. But comparing to changing weapons or you know, level up your equipment, these changes are minor relatively. Now let's move on to the second button, Gifts. As the name speaks for itself, it represents the gifts that we received. If you click in, you will see all the gifts that you received. Take mine, for example. If I click in mine, well, there's a little creature reminding me that I have no gifts. Well, apparently, I have no friends. <laughs> But if you have friends, the number of gifts that you received will show in here in the up, this upper section. Let's move on to the third button, buff. A buff is something can also affect our character, our game experience, sometimes your attack effect. So basically, it's, um, it forms from your mood, the weather, and some other things. For me, I think it has effects, but I normally don't check it like very frequently. For example, I don't see it when it rains or snow, or I, I feel that I'm hungry. Normally, it's when I get some sort of a reminder from the system that you are extremely hungry, therefore you cannot use this function. That's when I notice oh, I need to eat something. But other than that, I don't really care about this function, to be honest. Um, however, there are some sort of signs will indicate that you are not in a very good status. For example, you can see my screen. This is like um, a picture with um, 
a small person like crying or shouting with his hands around his head. So this is actually to indicate that you need to increase your mood, your level of pleasure. So how can we do that? Normally, it's to buy something from specific seller. If you have this pick, then I will show you now how to increase your your level of pleasure. So we just go find a seller who will sell this happy gifts. Yeah, the name literally is happy gifts. There are many NPCs you can buy these gifts from. For example, this one is in Tokyo. The coordinates are 499 and 453. So we find this the seller and then we buy. It's not very expensive. It's like 200. And we buy several and we click on it. We use it. Now we go back and click on the buff. You will see that blue person has already disappeared. Instead, there is humid and raining you know, because of the weather. And last, let's check out the fourth section, use the names. If I click on mine, it appears a sentence saying that I don't have any usernames. If you have any, it should display here. Okay, so that's the end of overall introduction of the left side. So I will stop here. Because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with a lot of information. As you can see, there are still many buttons and functions left. If you like this video, please subscribe and leave a comment. Please let me know if this one can help you or not, or any kind of improvements you want to see. But because I'm also doing the later part of this video, so if I release the second part, maybe you will not see the changes. But if you leave a comment, I see them, I will definitely improve them in the, I don't know, the third one or fourth one. Also, apologize for the time it delayed because it took much longer than I thought. And I'm also having some issue of uploading the video, but the problem will be solved soon. So anyway, have a wonderful day. Bye.